Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Today I am super excited to share with you the brand new Spellbinders card kit of the month for September 2022. Can't believe it's September already. Um, before we go into the kit, I do want to let you guys know that um, I mentioned during my 10 card one kit last, last month that I've been going through some family issues and your prayers are and, and thoughts and prayers have been amazing. They have been so awesome. Um, I do want to tell you that they are so uplifting and inspiring and and truly um, I'm blessed um, to have such a wonderful um, family of crafters who um, who who send their prayers and thoughts. Um, mm, my mother was diagnosed with stage four cancer and so i i took a trip to go visit her for a little while she's a very strong strong lady and um i showed her all of your guys's comments and prayers and she just smiled from ear to ear my mother has good days and bad days but her prognosis is is very um bleak <laughs> i should say the doctors gave her um not very much time left. I don't think um, I don't think she will make it for for the end of the year. But please keep your um, he's her in your thoughts. Okay, um, this is supposed to be a good video, and I usually want all my videos to be positive, so I'm trying to stay strong, but um. Start hurts a little bit, but we're gonna go through with everything that's in this month's kit. This is called So Happy. Um, and I just wanted to mention that, and I do want to mention that I may not do 10 cards, um, but I'll, I will share a couple of projects using the kit because, um, the craft room seems to be my little refuge to get my mind off of things, and so, um, I do like to, to create, um, a video with this kit I think it's gonna be super fun um, and I do ask you know down below in, in my description area I have a PO box if you guys would like to send a card to my mother her name's Diane um, you can send it to me and then I can mail her a box of um, cards or um, thinking of you cards if you guys want to send a mail. I know she would love to have a pile of mail other than bills sent to her house. She's she's a very my mother's a very strong lady, very faithful, and she believes that her time is 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 done here and that she's going to go home. Her mom actually died when she was 2 years old. So she talks about how she's excited about seeing her mother. She doesn't um remember her mom. So um so she's excited about, well, she's going to go home, she says. And so I think um, for the most part that I'm having to deal with is um, just such short notice and and um, that I will miss her. Okay, I'm going to take a break and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm, I'm, I apologize. I don't, I don't want this to be a sad video, but if you guys do um, want to send a Thinking of You card, um, I think she, my mother would love that. I will box them all up and ship them off to her address, um, and, and that would be wonderful. I think the way she lit up after seeing all the comments, I was just scrolling through all the comments, and she just lit up. And I just think if she had um, a box of handmade cards, I think that will just make it all the difference. Um, okay, so with that being said, let's take a look at our kit. And this is a game called So Happy. I, I don't think I've even looked at it. I haven't even looked at this one's kit, so I'm going to be as surprised as you guys are. Um, I can tell because my sticker's not removed. And I think it's going to be fabulous don't you just love these kits i think crafting is um therapy for lots of us and unfortunately this is something that i know every um not the cancer part but i think something that i'm um, losing a parent i mean everybody has to go through it and so um this is 
this is a uh, tough stuff okay this is our cover letter and it shows a project which is so cute that little needle looks so real and then on the back tells you how to create it with the dies in the kit this month I call this a recipe card for those of you who are new okay we have let's start off with our card stock okay you get a silver double-sided silver mirror card stock all of these and the eight colored card stock are eight and a half by eleven sheets and you get a white a gray yellow pink two shades of blue and then you get green and a real soft lavender so that's your color palette you always get 10 card bases and 10 envelopes in your kit and the envelopes are v-flap and then this is your card base which is a standard uh, side folding a2 size card base the card bases are um, four and a quarter by five and a half inches and there's a little bit of texture to them now we get to like take a look at our six by six paper pad you get a full size six by six paper pad Um, I, I won't be creating a video um, following this, So, um, but I'm thinking by the weekend I will have it done. Um, but So look for it on the weekend. But this is our, I'm going to thumb through the pattern paper. Let's zoom in a little bit. And thank you all for bearing with me during this, this tough time. I really appreciate it. Um, we get two sheets of each pattern and the patterns in here are so fun you get two-tone multi prints and there's some fun stuff I don't see any gold mirror or um, uh, foiling on the pattern paper this month and then there are 5 10 15 20 20 different patterns in two sheets of each and this is paper it's not cardstock but it's great for um, layering. So that is your six by six paper pad. Okay, we get our stamp set. Gosh, there's always so much in here. This is our stamp set, which is chock full of a lot of different sentiments. You can see my ceiling fan through there. I'm trying to tilt it so you don't see it. <laughs> but the sentiments in here are Filled with handcrafted goodness. So happy it's your birthday. Thanks, you made my day. Friendship is sewn with love and measured by kindness. A lot of sewing sentiments, which are fabulous for all kinds of card projects. So that's your stamp set. You also get some stickers. This looks like a very thick pack of stickers. <laughs> Let's take a look. I'm going to... pull these out how many we get gosh there's a lot and these are um, matte finished so there's no shine to them which is nice for card making but sentiments and also images which are really nice and you get four sheets of these Ooh, look at this you even get some some strips how nice are those love that so four sheets of stickers I always love when they include circles because circles with images on them are so nice. You know why? Because every time I, oh, I like this, these are like little pins. How cute is that? But the circles are so nice because, um, one, you, they could be envelope closures. You can use them or envelope seals. So you could peel them off and put them, let me show you, on an envelope as a seal. Love that. Or you can layer it with your circle dies. So you can layer the blue with the silver and then layer one of your images and that makes a great focal point for your card. So love that there's lots of circles in here this month. So you get four sheets of stickers. You also get some chipboard stickers. 
They're all sewing things. Look at the, how cute are those buttons. Oh goodness. And you get two, two sides of chipboard stickers. And then there's some gold detail on here also, which is nice. You get some double-sided adhesive with some foam squares. And then you get some more chipboard. I'm not sure if these are stickers or not. Let's take a look. These are pretty cool. You know, these are these are chipboard, but you could even actually put some cross stitch behind here and then put that on a card, which would be adorable. Um, but there, how many are here? There's lots and lots. Two, four, six, eight, nine of the larger embroidery hoops. And this piece punches out on top. Let me see. And then I think they're adhesive backed. Let's take a look. Yeah, they're adhesive backed. So you there you just remove the release paper and they're adhesive backed embroidery hoops. So you get nine of them of the larger ones, and then you get three of the smaller ones. And again, these little centers just pop out. So you get 12 in total. Those are super fun. And those will work perfect with those circles in your sticker set also. So you get those and then, oh goodness, you get, I'm not going to go through the die cuts this, well let's go through it real fast. You guys, if you don't like seeing the die cuts, um, just fast forward the video. <laughs> Um, I end up speeding it up just to go through them real fast. And okay. So you get lots of buttons. I see that already. And then are there two of each? There's two of different, two each of patterns. Let me show you. Like this little yarn basket. There's two of each. So I'm going to zoom in and we're just going to go through it real fast. I'll probably skip a few just to go through it, but love the color palette. Get the dressmaker's doll or the figure. And you get some embroidery floss, flowers, some knitting needles. You get lovely that's stitched. And again, I think you get two of each of these. I seen this and this, I need to get some more of these because sometimes my glossy accents or my, my Nuvo drops will get clogged. So I had some, some pins that were on a little dial. I think I might've picked it up from the dollar store, but I need to get more because I lose my pins and that's what I see that. That's what it reminds me. I've got to put that on my, <laughs> my shopping list, but we get, I'm going to zoom up the video and then I'll continue on with the rest of the kit. We're going to check out the dies. Okay, so I went through them really fast, but it's all about friendship and sewing, which is really nice. I'm going to put these back, and then we're going to take a look at our dies this month. Okay, well there is so many in here, I don't even think I can close that bag back up. <laughs> but that's the best part. Okay, so those are our ephemera, or die cut shapes. And then, last but not least, we have our dies. I'm going to go ahead and grab my magnetic board. And looks like you get two different circle dies, which are always nice. And then you get some florals, which Spellbinders florals are always fabulous. Looks like you get some swirlies, which makes it some embroidery floss or thread. 
you get a needle and then these two pieces here this one and this one actually create an embroidery hoop with these circles which makes it nice and then the, you get some leaves flower stems flower centers and some fun flowers so those are our dies this month so I'm going to go ahead and take some colored cardstock and create our embroidery hoop and die cut out everything and let's take a look at what these dies can do let's put everything aside and grab some colored cardstock okay to save a little bit of time I die cut out everything with white cardstock and to create my embroidery hoop ring you would just layer both of your circle dice together like so to create the, um, the outline and then I took the largest one and created a back panel for it. So when I die cut out both of them together, I have this inside circle. I'll probably use this for one of my cards. So I'm going to put that aside. And we're going to start by creating our embroidery hoop first. And I think I'm going to use my glue. We're going to start by adding a little bit of glue to the top of our circle here. This is our larger circle and I die cut this out with white cardstock. And then I'm gonna take my jewel picker upper here and with the open ends towards the top, I'm gonna to go ahead and add that. Kinda of looks like a, you could flip it around and make a Christmas ornament. <laughs> so I like versatility. Sometimes I see things differently. And then I'm going to add dots of glue to the very top. We can add our little mechanism that tightens that embroidery hoop. And you know what, instead of going in the front, I'm going to put this behind. So I'm going to add a couple little dots of glue. And this can go towards the left or the right. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And then you can place this over the top. Lovely. And then I'm going to use my glue and go around the edge or the border of my circle. We can add our border frame. And that is our embroidery hoop. You could actually do real stitching in here if you wanted to. So that's our embroidery hoop. Now with, it takes a little bit of time to dry with that silver mirror. This is our, our needle, which I think is awesome. And then the rest, I thought we would die cut out um, with white cardstock and then color them in just using the ink that's on my finger daubers. Now while I do this, I can talk, a, talk with you a little bit um, about, um, about my mom and how, how what happened is back in November or December of last year, she came down with COVID. My mom's not vaccinated. She didn't want to get the vaccine. And so she, she got COVID and it, it, it took a toll on her. My mom is very, very health food she's healthy healthy she hiked she's hiked the Grand Canyon she's a hiker um, she she's hiked I think half dome she is a very healthy woman she nothing processed no Oreo cookies <laughs> she is completely organic very health food um, health food and fanatic I would say and no processed foods, no, no genetically modified foods. She's, uh, she's active, so active. Um, so at the beginning of the year, maybe January, February, she went to the doctor and said, um, she's just, something's not right. She's not feeling very well. And so they did tests and they did say that her white blood cell count was up and that they just, everything else was normal. They couldn't figure out what was going on. So um, she would go back to the doctor and back to the doctor and back to the doctor and just never, 
they never really could figure it it was always something different it was indigestion <clears throat> it was um it was just it was just something well her energy level just fizzled out by this time it was in august this was just last month um my sister had taken her to um, one of the specialists from a friend of a friend and they said bring um, her mom bring your mom in and we'll figure out what's wrong with her right away so they she did my sister brought her into the doctor and um, they did a cat scan and the doctor said well I do see a spleen that's a little bit enlarged he goes but I can't find anything he goes um, we're going to do some more tests and then my mom told the doctor well that's funny that you mentioned a I'm talking and I'm not coloring <laughs> but my mom said it's funny that you mentioned my spleen is enlarged she goes I don't have a spleen um, and so she had her spleen removed um, in her 40s I think and so that kind of really set a red flag to the doctor and they ended up um, finding out that it was the colon cancer that was up in her upper intestines and so uh, well um, and he did the doctor did say that this is genetic cancer that it's um, that your kids my mom has six kids I'm the second to the oldest, but she said that, um, the doctor was a boy, he said, or a man, <laughs> he said that all of your kids need to be tested because your kids, um, this could, could be a matter of life, life and death. He said, I've never seen a cancer so big in all my life. And that, um, I was like, well, that's, my mom was telling me this and it was pretty tells you kind of how large it was um but um so that kind of threw her for a loop and then it figured out um her why her energy level dropped but she kept losing and and from january till now she kept losing weight she couldn't hold anything down her taste buds are very crazy right now she said everything tastes sweet so if she has a potato chip it tastes sweet which um, she wouldn't have a potato chip, but mashed potatoes, say for example, um, she said everything is just, got, it's just, the, the, her taste buds are off. Um, and then her iron level is way down. And so the doctor said that he would give um, her a time span of three to five months. But my sister's um, with the weight loss, my mom too, Oh, she's very cognitively there. It's it's hasn't affected her cognitive ability, but it has spread to her lungs and to her um, to her liver. But if and then, um, but she's a very faithful woman and believes that her time here is done and that she is ready to go home i think i mentioned before that I think, I think us girls are just we have my family there's five girls and my we're all two years apart and then my brother is the youngest he's four years from our youngest sister but um it's a very hard thing that to, to deal with it's just just kind of like throws you for a loop so I had went to go visit for a little while, and um, I hadn't been to, I haven't visited my mom in a, in a long time, which is a shame. You know, we all get busy with our lives, and that's not going to happen no more. I want to make family a little bit more of a priority. Since I'm, I think I'm the, well, my oldest sister lives out of state, but the rest of my family lives really close to my mom. And so, um. That's that's a good thing, and then we have some blue in here. Have we get some blue, or will blue throw it off? Maybe a little yellow. But that's what's going on. I just didn't want to leave you guys in the dark. If I have to, if my videos stop um, all of a sudden, you know, that's the reason is because I have to. 
I have to take care of some family issues. My mom it has a good days and bad days, and my sisters take care of her, and I'm I'm blessed that that they're there with her. One of my sisters is is clearing. She's an empty nester, so she's clearing out one of her kids' room, and my mom will be moving in with her. Um, but right now, my brother is staying with her. Um, and it's just been like a crazy, crazy last few months. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm rambled my ear off of it. This is, there's a lot of ink left on that one. <laughs> I might have to color the whole thing in with that one. Okay. Got some more pink in there. Um, but that is what's going on with me right now. So thank you for all of your prayers and in comments. I tell you, my mom just lit up. You should have seen her face. I know I've, I'm repeating myself, but the way she lit up was pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Okay, we are done coloring. Now we get to put these together. So, of course, we need some foam adhesive. And so, I'm going to layer the pink centers on my orange flowers. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to go, but I like layers, so we'll go ahead and do that. You don't have to. There's some extra flower centers. So we're layering these together. Now I got some pretty inky fingers. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a little dot of glue to the center, and we will layer some yellow flower centers here. I put some buds here. I had a little yellow flower center to here. That's a little flower bud that I'm gonna add a little dot of glue, and I guess I should zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I added a little dot of glue to this one, and then this can go like so, and then we have the little flower buds that I made yellow. You could die cut out another large one, and then you can actually layer these together. Let's remove that and do that. Meant to be layered. I'm going to die cut out some more flower centers here. And we will add a small dot, like so. just love the pinks and oranges together. Now I'm going to thread my needle with my embroidery here. I love this. Looks so neat. And then I'm going to use my glue and I'm going to attach this to my embroidery hoop. I think that looks really neat. And then we can add our flowers. And I'm just going to use my glue to do this. I'm trying to keep everything inside my little embroidery hoop so it looks like we embroidered all of this. Somebody told me once, a good embroiderist, the front of their embroidery looks just as nice as the back side. And I'm not that good yet. <laughs> but I do like to embroider. And I think that's such a pretty little hoop. So that is our, our little project with our dies this month. So fun. Thanks for putting up with me and thanks for dealing... Um,
I hope you don't mind me sharing my story. I usually want this to be a happy place and I don't want no sad things because this is kind of my, my happy place. <laughs> Um, but I would love it. Um, I would love to ship a box of cards to my mother, um, with happy thoughts. And again, I'll list my PO box down below. If you guys want to share some handmade kindness, I think that would be really wonderful. <laughs> um, during a difficult time, but have a wonderful day. Look forward to creating some cards, um, a few cards this weekend for you. So keep an eye out for that video, but we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.